Hello, I'm Randy. Um, basically what we're looking at is a two and a half cubic yard uh, dump style scraper from Ashland. It's a 2012 model, brand new model. Uh, and basically I wanted to describe a little bit what we have here. Basically it has a straight hitch that goes directly onto the tractor's draw bar. So you can see what we'll have here, I'm just kind of walking through some water here, uh, is a two and a half inch uh, basically uh, receiver hitch. It's a 20,000 pound hitch that you'd see you can get at the Northern Tool as well as it's got a four hole bracket that you can basically adjust the, for the director's draw bar. If you have some taller tires you can move that up and down to uh, control the height of the hitch. Basically one hydraulic circuit basically is all it needed to run the functions of the scraper. As you can see, let me get around the side here without getting too terribly wet. Those hydraulics basically can control a pair of cylinders fed parallel. As you can see, there's one here, then one on the opposite side that, that basically controls all the functions of the scraper. So as you retract those cylinders a little bit, you can see you got a little bit of rod exposed there. This actuating frame moves down. So as it's doing it, where you see the 25S, that's the bowl, it begins to lower. And there's some round rollers that roll the apron up. So it basically lowers the scut scraper into a cut allowing a spacious opening to let the dirt come into the scraper. So as the dirt's coming in, it's filling it up. And as you extend this hydraulic, that actuating frame will then pick it up out of a cut position and put it into about almost uh, somewhat about in this position, which basically raises the bowl up, allows the apron to come shut to the blade so you're capturing the material. And as you basically extend it into the dump site, you basically actuate the cylinder more, extending the cylinder. So you see this actuating frame rotate over this axis here then lowers the back, it raises the back over the front into a vertical dump position, kind of like cracking a leg, uh, an egg open, so to speak. But basically, this is a two and a half cubic yard scraper that originally started as, you can kind of see some of those yellow parts over there, as a skid steer mount. So we took a skid steer in the back end, took the wheels off the back, and that in the front with a caster wheel, and we're pushing these with these large compact track loaders uh, due to kind of the home economy, basically, uh, uh, new housing starts kind of really fall off. Uh, basically, we started converting some of these hitches over uh, through me by means of a local weld shop that's uh, that's doing it here. So we're trying to convert some of this inventory. Uh, this is something that uh, basically we're, we're selling it through that company, uh, and then in turn they're basically selling it uh, at auction at auction time here. So really, the machine is brand new, never been placed in service. It's made of all the parts that we started to build in 2008, 2009. The actuating frame, the main frame, the bucket, the apron are all parts that basically we've had in stock. But yet, you know, basically went through a blasting and being repainted. So as you can see, kind of the framework, that used to be the end of the framework where the skid steer mount would be. They sandwich plated it and put the rear spindles on both sides. Very similar to what we had always in the 25S. So it's a very robust scraper. Uh, it's about 3,000 pounds. Um, big flotation tires on yours can go through almost uh, any condition. Requires about a 55 horsepower tractor to control all the functions of the machine. Just continue to walk around it. As you see here is the other side with the cylinder that's on the opposite side. That red piece is simply a transport lock just to kind of hold it up uh, in a carry position. Um, and then you can kind of see the rollers that roll that apron up when it goes into a cut position. The blade basically is a three-piece sectional blade. It's a 72-inch width of cut, so it cuts out a lot of the tractor, uh, with tractor widths that you'd have and the tractor sizes that you have in there. Very heavy-duty uh, structure round pipe. Handles much uh, a lot of loads. Uh, good uh, good strength on that part of it. Uh, comes complete with a, uh, a, a trailer star uh, screw hitch jack with a spud, storage spud as well. Uh, it's a very durable scraper, something that we continue to support in parts uh, and functionality as far as uh, service after the sale too. So uh, good luck in bidding and uh, look forward to catching up with